Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain that why we add 54% extra to the wet volume of concrete and 33% extra in the wet mortar mix. When we estimate the volume of concrete structure, we get the volume of wet concrete. We have to convert this into the dry mix concrete volume while batching and preparing concrete. Let's first talk about the concrete. There are four ingredients of concrete that is the fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, cement and water. The volume is said to be a dry when we mix all these ingredients as per concrete grade without the addition of water. In dry condition, there is a void among these ingredients with the loosely felled materials. After the addition of water into the mix, the voids will removed and get compacted. So the wet volume reduces in its volume and 52 to 54% of the extra material is needed to make up this volume reduction by voids filling and to have a dense and compacted concrete. The volume decreases after the addition of the water in the dry concrete is actually the voids have been replaced with the volume of water. The volume decreases within a coarse aggregate after the addition of water is from 32 to 34%. Similarly, the volume decreases within the fine aggregate after the addition of water in a dry concrete is from 20 to 27%. Take the highest percentage and find the net volume decreases that is 34 plus 27 we will get 61 percent. After the addition of cement in the dry mix it increases its volume because the cement are a very fine material and it replaces some of the voids and that is from 5 to 7 percent. So subtract it from the net volume we will get 61 minus 7 we will get 54 percent. The dry volume of a concrete is equal to the wet volume plus 54% of the wet volume. Suppose if we have a wet volume calculated from the cube is 1 cubic meter, how much a dry volume of concrete will need it? That will be equal to 1 plus 54% of the wet volume, we will get 1.54 cubic meter. In case of the cement mortar, we use 33% extra in the dry mortar mix. In a dry state, all the ingredients in cement mortar that is sand and cements are loosely packed with voids in them. Generally, the sand contains 23 to 27% voids in them. After the addition of water into dry mix, the air particles in the voids are removed and the mortar get compacted, forming a homogeneous mix. The wet mix so form shrink by 23 to 27% of the dry volume of water. Let's consider the 25% shrinkage in the dry mix of 1 cubic meter. So 1 cubic meter of the dry mix is equal to 0.75 cubic meter of the wet mix. Now we will calculate the volume of dry mix required for the 1 cubic meter of the wet mix. That is for 0.75 cubic meter of the wet mortar will be equal to 1 cubic meter of the dry mortar. For 1 cubic meter of the wet mortar, how much cubic meter of the dry mortar will be required? Multiply both sides by 1 cubic meter divided by 0.75 cubic meter, we will get 1 cubic meter of the wet mortar will be equal to 1 cubic meter multiplied by 1 cubic meter divided by 0.75 cubic meter of the dry mortar. 1 cubic meter of the wet mortar will be equal to 1.33 cubic meter of the dry mortar. This is how the 1.33 factor have been taken for cement mortar to get the dry mix of cement mortar. For more information related to this topics, please refer to the part first of this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.